Here are the top 15 IntelliJ Ideas shortcuts which you can use to code more efficiently. Using the keyboard instead of the mouse can save you a lot of time when writing software. There are many keyboard shortcuts available, but even if you try only a few of the ones in this video, you'll be on the right track to becoming a more productive coder. And don't worry if you're not great at remembering things. There's a tip at the end of the video which will help you to easily find all the shortcuts you'll ever need and memorize them over time. So first of all, let's start with some shortcuts to help you navigate your way around the IDE. Wherever you are in the IDE, if you press Escape, the focus will go back to the Active Editor so you can start writing some code. You can see here that whatever tool window I have selected, I can get back to the editor with this shortcut. Press Alt-1 to change the focus to the Project Tool window. This is helpful for quickly navigating files, which you can do using the arrow keys. Press Alt F12 to open up the terminal. Very useful if you prefer to use the command line to run things. To close the terminal, just press the same shortcut again. Control N will bring up a box for you to type in a class name. This is normally the quickest way to get to a class you want to see. You can see here that as soon as I start typing the first letters of the word person, the class name is matched and I can press enter to view the class. Pressing Ctrl E will show you a list of recently accessed files. So even if you've closed down the tab, you can easily see which files you were looking at earlier and navigate to them using the arrow keys and enter. For an easy way to maximize or minimize the editor, press Ctrl Shift F12. This is useful for seeing as much of the code as possible on your screen. Now let's jump into some shortcuts to help you use the editor more efficiently. Press F4 when your cursor is over some code to view the source of that method or class. This is a quick way to navigate deeper and deeper into the code base. And you can even go into the source code of codebase's reference from yours. Like here, I'm looking at the Java println method. Pressing Ctrl F3 will find the next occurrence of the word at your current carry position. This makes it simple to find where a variable is used in a method without having to read too much code. Along the same lines, Alt J will add a selection to the next occurrence of the word at your current carry position. Now you can easily edit multiple lines at once, which can be a big time saver. Here I'm editing all lines with the word person and adding some text to the end of each name. To jump around your class more easily, Alt, Up or Alt, Down will go to the previous or next method. This makes navigation a lot easier, especially when working with a large class. Pressing Ctrl F12 will give an overview of the structure of the current file, which is handy to see all the methods of a class in a list. You can even jump to a method using the arrow keys and enter. We all know the shortcuts for copy and paste, but if you press Ctrl Shift P, you will be able to paste any text that you have previously copied. This can save a lot of time if, for example, you need to copy several pieces of text from one file and paste them into another file. If IntelliJ is showing you that there is a problem, move your carré to the correct location and press Alt-Enter to see how IntelliJ can fix this automatically. In many cases, the suggestions that are provided are what you are looking for, and IntelliJ can do a good job of doing what you would have to do manually. I'm using this shortcut to clean up this person service class. Whatever class you are in, press Ctrl Shift F10 to run it. This will run the main method by default, but is also handy in tests where it will run the currently selected test method. 
And like I said before, if you don't manage to remember many of these shortcuts, don't worry, because the final shortcut here is all you really need. So take note because Control Shift A will find any action that you want to perform. If you search for an action that has a shortcut, it will tell you what that shortcut is to easily remind you for next time. Let's try the file structure action, which we saw before. And you can see its shortcut is Control F12. You can just hit enter to execute the action. So there you have it, the top 15 IntelliJ IDEA shortcuts to code more efficiently. Thanks for watching and see you next time.